Hello everyone. In this session, we will be seeing what is the interval measure. Okay, so interval measure is also a type of a liquidity ratio. So liquidity ratio is ability of firm to pay its short term liabilities. Okay. So, interval measure is one of the ratio, it's, it's a little different way of calculating ability of the firm. Okay, so what is the interval measure? Interval measure is your current assets minus inventory. So that means your quick assets, okay, divide by your average daily operating expenses, okay. So what do you mean by your average daily operating expenses? Average daily operating expenses means your cost of goods sold plus your general admin expenses plus general office expenses plus your selling expenses minus your depreciation minus any non-cash expenditure okay so basically operating expenses means all your cash expenses okay now daily operating expenses how do you calculate it is you s divide it by number of days either you divide it by 365 or 360 okay so you divide it by number of days to find out what is the average daily operating expense. Now interval measure, what does it show? It shows your ability of your quick assets, right? See your numerator is nothing but current assets minus inventory. That is your quick assets. So ability of quick assets to meet your average daily operating expenses. That is average cash expenses. Okay. So you will come to know by this that your, for how many days your quick assets will be able to fund your average daily operating expenses. Okay, this is what you will come to know using this interval measure. Okay, so let's see one example of calculating an interval measure. So now let's see how to calculate an interval measure and analyze the same okay particular company a company b then you have sundry daters inventories cash and bank balances creditors for purchases outstanding expenses bank and overdraft then you have cost of goods sold depreciation included in above administrative expenses selling expenses then you have current ratio, quick ratio, or asset test ratio, and cash ratio, which is calculated for these two companies. Now we need to find out interval measure. Now, interval measure is equal to current assets minus inventory. divided by average daily operating expenses okay so now let's see for company a okay so current assets minus inventory so we'll be taking all the current asset except for inventory so we'll take sundry daters and cash and bank balances okay all these are current assets right so one lakh is sundry data plus three lakh is cash and bank balances 
right divide by average daily operating expense now why let's find out what is average daily operating expense it will include all your expenses like cost of goods sold administrative and selling expenses excluding your depreciation and non-cash expenditure okay so let's see what all it is so cost of goods sold three lakh sixty thousand now depreciation included above forty thousand you have to reduce it administrative expenses selling expenses so it will be three lakh sixty thousand minus how much is depreciation forty thousand plus administrative expenses one lakh plus your selling expenses seventy five thousand okay this entire thing you have to divide it by three sixty or 360 to find out average daily operating expense now let's see have 4 lakh divided by 1356.46 okay so that comes to 294.46 that is 295 so your current assets minus inventory that is your quick assets will be able to cover your average daily operating expenses that is cash expenses for 295 days approximately okay so this was for company a now let's see for company b so for company b okay your current assets minus inventory so you have to take sundry debtors and cash and bank balances so 50,000 plus 50,000 so it comes to 50,000 plus 50,000 that is 1 lakh divided by average daily operating expenses so that is how much cost of goods sold you have to consider 2,50,000 okay then reduce the depreciation included above 1 lakh administrative expense 50,000 selling expense so it will be 2,50,000 minus 30,000 plus 1 lakh plus 50,000 divided by 365 so that comes to how much 1 lakh divided by 1013.6 so that comes to 98.6 approximately 99 days okay so for company B your quick assets will be able to cover your average daily operating expenses for 99 days okay now if you analyze all the liquidity ratios for company A and company B you can see the current ratio of company is higher 3.42 asset test ratio is higher even its cash ratio is higher and its interval measure is also higher very high that is it is able to cover its average daily operating expense for 295 days so it can really think of investing this three lakh in some long term investments it need not keep so much in the cash balance okay or highly liquid assets now for company b if you see their current ratio is lower asset test ratio is lower cash ratio is also very low and it is able to cover its operating expense for 100 days this is fine okay but if you see this these two it at least needs to keep it as its test ratio at one okay so it can think of taking some loan and increases cash or bank balance or highly liquid assets okay or quick assets now this was about all the liquidity ratios and interval measures okay thank you